Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal. Here are animals that are going extinct in 2021. The Pinta Island Tortoise Lonesome George, a member of the Pinta Island subspecies of giant tortoises in the Galapagos, was seemingly the last of his kind. When George died, it seemed as though the entirety of his kind had died off. So it seemed. Galapagos tortoises had a long history of being kept on ships for food and dumped off when no longer needed. A popular dumping ground for these tortoises was Isabella Island. In 2007, an expedition to this island found something intriguing. Eight young tortoises were discovered, and they seemed to be the first generation of hybrids of Pinta Island tortoises and other subspecies. It may sound like a stretch to say, but with 2,000 tortoises living on the island, one of them is likely to be a Pinta Island tortoise. As of current, a total of 17 hybrids have been found, and future expeditions could yield more. One of them may even find the parent of these hybrid reptiles. Brazilian Spix's macaw The Spix's macaw is still alive today, virtually only in zoos. Their primary habitat, the Caraiba tree, has largely been deforested, leaving their species vulnerable. Several attempts to set up nature preserves near their original nesting sites are ongoing in the case that a few wild macaw reports are true. Two decades ago, Curaçao in Brazil lost its last few birds, but on March 3, 2020, 52 of the parrots, which were bred in captivity, returned to their home. The move was mired in controversy, though, as the founder of the organization that provided the captive bred birds faced accusations of running a private collection with ties to wildlife trafficking. Around a hundred of these macaws exist in zoos and other preserves, but there may be a few more kept as pets. Attempts to breed more have faltered due to many of the captive birds being closely related, leading to an uptick in inbreeding, leading to inviable offspring. Scimitar oryx. The scimitar oryx, a relative to the antelope, had a tough go of it when the Sahara's northern areas rapidly desertified, leaving only a southern population alive. But when European trophy hunters came in, their population rapidly declined. The oryx is prized for its long antler. By 2000, they were extinct in the wild. But the oryx was kept as livestock, leaving some individuals there. Captive breeding programs have rebounded their population in a few places worldwide, including Texas Hill Country, where most individuals survive today. Some of these captive populations have been reintroduced into the wild, but it's not yet known if this has created a sustainable population or not. Southern Rockhopper Penguin Named for their characteristic hopping movements, the southern rockhopper penguin can be found traversing the rocky hillsides and cliffs along the islands north of Antarctica, including New Zealand, Argentina, Chile, and the Falkland Islands, where they not only live, but breed. To spot these little penguins, which only ever grow to become about 4 to 6 pounds and roughly 2 feet tall, look for their distinctive crest of spiky black and yellow feathers. According to National Geographic, these penguins are among the most numerous on the planet, and yet their island populations are decreasing. For instance, the colonies on the Falkland Islands were formerly the most populous, but due to pollution and commercial fishing, those numbers have plummeted. Some estimates state that southern rockhopper penguins have declined by 30% over the last 30 years. Socorro isopod. Isopods are ancient primitive crustaceans. Though the larger family, the Sphero-Matidae, are plentiful worldwide, the Thermus Pharoma genus is located exclusively in the southwest United States and Mexico, in hot springs areas. There are eight species in the genus. One is relatively healthy, five are critically endangered, and one's population isn't even known. But the Socorro isopod is perhaps the strangest and saddest case. 
they've been nearly wiped off the face of the earth, clinging on for dear life in a single pool. In the 1940s, water from the Cedillo Spring was diverted to serve the population of Socorro, New Mexico. But in the process, the Socorro isopod lost its native habitat. They were swept into two concrete pools and a water pipe, where they held on until 1988 when a tree root cut off the water supply. Since then, they've been tended to by various zoos and wildlife agencies with the hopes of saving the population and returning them to the wild. Salt Creek Tiger Beetle The Salt Creek Tiger Beetle, with its half-inch long metallic brown to olive green body and sickle-shaped mandible, is beautiful in its own right, but is also one of the world's most rare insects. As its name suggests, the beetle is found in saline wetland habitats, but those expanses have drastically shrunken over time. Originally, the beetle's habitat covered large swaths of Lancaster and southern Saunders counties in Nebraska. In fact, J.P. Morton of the Morton Salt Company once attempted to mine salt from those wetlands. But by the 1880s, these wild lands were decimated, according to a Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Largely, this was a result of the development of the state's capital, Lincoln. Today, the beetle numbers at around 400 individuals, and that represents a population rebound. This has largely happened through water diversion projects and turning parts of their habitat into protected lands. Amur Leopard The Amur Leopard is barely holding on in Russia and China. In a decade, their population has risen to a hundred from a population of just two dozen wild individual cats. A list of hazards stand in the way of their future. Poaching, deforestation, inbreeding, and industrial encroachment. But concerted efforts to save them have made some progress. They have also been successfully bred in captivity, though any eventual reintroduction poses problems for predators unused to life in the wild. They remain the smallest cat species in the world. Snow Leopard Known for their ability to adapt to harsh climates, this beautiful big cat has traditionally been known as the King of the Mountains. In 12 countries, including China, Nepal, India, and Mongolia, the Snow Leopard can leap six times the length of its body to capture prey like the Ibex, Blue Sheep, and Marmots. As these cats are the victors of their habitats, their only known predators are humans. And we've single-handedly led to their decline with hunting, encroachment of their habitats, and retaliatory killings. Worse yet, climate change could lead to a further decrease in the snow leopard's numbers. Some 30% of its habitat could disappear in the Himalayas alone, according to the World Wildlife Fund. This brings us to the end of the video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Nature is Phenomenal to see more of our videos in the future. With that, see you in the next video.